We want this stuff to go in the fridge. Wow, we can even eat over a wireless connection. How's that? That's pretty damn cool. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 9. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are continuing. We're going to continue working the quest here. Uh, we started the uh, the solo player quest, finding out what happened to the UCH vessel, that sort of thing. Also known, or at least used to be known, as the Robinson Protocol. And uh, so we just finished the mid section, and now we're going to head to the rear section. I must have already looted him, maybe. Uh, we took just a little bit of damage in the last episode, nothing significant. Um, I lost a... Uh, can you get up there? What the hell? Why are you having such a hard time getting up there? Uh, I did lose a shutter. I uh, wonder if I can make another one. Yeah, we can, but we don't have the stuff for it. Uh, let's make this cargo box... Just a cargo box one. Okay, well, um, I think we're okay. Let's just go. So it wants us to go to the rear section, which is right over there. Oh, there's a copper deposit, too. Derelict base. We're gonna have to keep keep our eyes peeled for drones. I was a little careless in the last episode, and we didn't like I said we didn't take any major damage, but uh, I need to pay a little more attention to what the hell's going on here. See, we got some drones that just spawned in right there. Find a way up to the bridge, and you should find the answer to this riddle. Okay. Take those boys out. Could just maybe land right on the top of it. Maybe. How about that? Okay, I think I'm going to keep the engines running just in case we need to make a, a quick exit back up here. And now we need to get down into the bridge. I don't know how. That's a long ways down there. I don't know if I can get back up from there. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. You used to be able to kind of park inside of this thing. Maybe you can, still can. It's, it's just that it's all buried now. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't really see an option for that. Alright, well let's at least park right here. And we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled, like I said, for uh, incoming drones. Pop in right here. Oh, I'll take all that stuff. Might as well take it all. Isn't there supposed to be an elevator in here? Yeah, right here. Well, this has, this has damage. that stuff. Another insulation boost. I think those are consoles. There we go. You found the ship log. Audio message started. Commander, we cannot wait any longer uh, for the security chief. We are also not able to make contact with Apollon Station. Alex will try to send another message with instructions how to find us. We log damaged. 
Um, July 25th, 2473. Sir, this is engine's compartment. All systems nominal. Warp drive online. Some issues reported with log damage. Not to use log damage before arrival. Initiating warp jump. Okay. Uh, July 26th. Made contact with... That's it. July 26th. Uh, security alert. Battle stations. Shields lost, engines lost, gravity of planet, sending distress call, recon units captured. Coordinated by a radar station on the planet at given coordinates. Destroyed. By July 27, failed to all remaining ships retreat and blah, log in. As it seems, the fleet ran into enemy forces and the Titan was destroyed. This does not explain the weathered material the UCH vessel wreckages, but at least the data pad had some coordinates of a radar station where the attack was suspected to be commanded from. You should go there, but before, build some better weapons and armored wep and an armored weaponized attack vessel. Consider building your base to get better constructors, weapons, and equipment necessary for this undertaking. You should bring a hover vessel with a clone chamber for having a protected area when being revived. Okay. So do we get stuff? We did get stuff. That's just light armor. Uh, we got some health packs, though. That's good. Oh, man. Did I, uh... Yeah, I did. I was going to say. We must have lost a couple things because we didn't have inventory space for it. Here, let's eat that. All right, so that's a Pulse Rifle Tech 2. That does 70 damage. That does 75. This is actually a better gun. So we will start using that as our assault rifle. Nice. All right, anything else up here that we want to look at before we... What's that? Gold ingots! Oh, hell yeah! We can make uh, EVA boosts out of those. And that is an extra set of medium armor, isn't it? Uh, that's just light armor, so let's grab the medium. I don't care about the light armor. I can make that if I wanted to, but there's no reason to because we already have medium armor. Did we look in here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. drones coming? Don't see anything. It just goes out the back. That's an airlock. You can usually get some pretty decent salvage off this thing, but with the new questing system, I don't know. I'm kind of a little hesitant to do that because it could screw up, you know, other people trying to do the quest. But, you know, there's these RCS, those are Tech 2 RCSs. That'd be nice, uh, a nice thing to get. Plop down a core if you still can do that. But, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I do want to go down here because there are chests here. Oh, we don't have any room here. We're going to have to put some stuff in the jade jet. Okay, so let's go into the cargo box. Just some of this stuff. Detector. Can we sell that thing? I wonder. Okay, so we'll take the silicon. Don't care about the wood. We'll take both of those things. Take all of that. Take all of that. Oh, that's cozy in there. Uh, don't really care about either one of those things. goes into this room. Now you can dig down deeper in, into here and get, you know, there's more stuff down to, below that you can salvage, but we're not going to do that. It takes too long. Okay. We need some oxygen. 
I wish it made the, the noise. I miss the noise, man. The noise was awesome. Build oxygen. And let's just throw all this stuff in here for now. All right. Excellent. So this. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe, if I remember right, I think this is as far as I've gotten on the, this quest in the past. So anything we do from here on out is going to be brand new to me. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the next step is. So we have finished that leg. Ancient Revelations. When we entered orbit, scans briefly indicated a debris field. I am currently scanning the logs of the stations for any signal or information. Our next objective should be to construct or acquire a warp-capable vessel. I would suggest venturing to orbit as some of the scans indicate faint warp, faint warp signatures, which could would save us time and resources. Awesome plan, I, I know. Alright, activate the mission. UCH Story Chapter 2, Ancient Revelations. Begin log entry. Ida, would you care to fill in our audience? We are in the right spatial coordinates in the correct galaxy, Andromeda, but years after the primary Terran fleet arrived. Presumably because the faulty warp drive of our escape vessel created a wormhole in space and time. We recently discovered and explored the MS Titan. Logs found therein indicate the fleet arrived and was ambushed, was then defeated and fled elsewhere. For all we know, they could still be alive. We have encountered the Xerox Empire and heard the names Talon and Ancients. Insufficient information has been acquired on those entities. All right, log entry completed. I had a situational analysis on what to do next. Mission details. When we entered orbit, scans briefly indicated... Oh, we already read that. Our next objective should be to... Yeah, 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 got that. Okay. All right, let's do it. base there. Something we can maybe raid sometime later on another episode. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, so this wants us to space bound. Go to space. Okay. I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's go back to the base and just kind of unload the stuff that we have. Alright guys, so I think I'll just cut the camera here, I'll go back to base, uh, do a little bit of inventory management, and when I'm ready to take off into space, we will uh, do that next leg. Okay, so I'll be back in just a bit. Alright guys, we're back at the base. Uh, something occurred to me, and that is that um, instead of unloading all this stuff manually, we can actually, I, th I believe we can actually make a wireless uh, device and use that to access everything. So let's give that a try. I haven't messed with this yet, so this is going to be new territory for me. Uh, I figured let's try it. Um, you didn't give me any meat, man. Are your buddies around? I hear a buddy. There's a buddy. There's a piece of meat. That's dinner. Let's check our water. Alright, we'll just let that keep going for now. That's our little invisible blood plant. Make me some steak, please. My health level is increasing. Okay, so here's our wireless device. Let's 
try this out and see what happens. How big is it? We can pop it right up there, maybe? Wireless connection. Okay, so if we hit the F4 menu, logistics. Um, old guys, J Jet. Oh, this is cool. Check this out, you guys. I love it. Um, and then Red Constructor Blue General Storage. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So we're going to move that into general storage, the armor, the insulation boost, the steel blocks, the gold can go into the thingy, force field, put all that in there, the growing plots, and the extra detector. All right, in the red constructor, we want to put all of this stuff, all the components. Uh, we want to put the ores in the orange furnace box. Oh, not that. Let's pull these out of here. This is cool, man. I like this. Uh, we want those to go in the red constructor. All of that stuff can. We want this stuff to go in the fridge. Wow, we can even eat over wireless connection. How's that? That's pretty damn cool. We want this to go in red constructor. We need to make some more ammo. Um, this stuff goes in the ammo box. This we'll put out in the, in the, um, uh, oh, do that from here. We want to go to the normal camo miner and put that in the harvest box. Actually, no, let's put that in the ammo box. I love this. That's a cool thing, man. That's great. Uh, all right. So let's see. We need more uh, projectile rifle ammo. Output count of 50. That'll give us 5,000. Let's get that going. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> That's all right, though. It's all good. Better late than never, right? Okay, so... I think everything is unloaded from the J-Jet. Sounded like a rocket came in. Oh, sure enough. Look at that. We got hit in the back here. That's it, though. No other damage other than just that. Interesting. I would have figured there'd been some splash damage. Whatever that damage was from, that wasn't from the rocket. That was probably already there. Okay. So, uh, we need to make another shutter for the J-Jet. Let's just do that over here, I guess. How to learn it. Small vessel. Shutter doors. Just about out of solar power. Wonder, does this use a lot of power? The wireless connection. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Range is 100 meters. Volume, air type, mass. It doesn't really say. 
how much power it uses. Oh, okay. So let's grab that guy. Grab some ammo. And it was on the other side that we had to replace this uh, shutter. Blue General Storage, get the paint gun out, and paint this sucker green. This green. Okay, that fixes all that. I'm just going to do kind of a quick sweep of the repair gun. some hits down here. A couple spots up on top there. Good. I think we are good. Get back in there. Red constructor. I'm not gonna take all that ammo with me. So we'll put we'll take I guess we'll take three stacks. Okay, I think we're ready to head up into space. How is our space station doing, by the way? We've got 34 more minutes on that guy. So maybe we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. We'll go up into space and work on the quest, and then when we're done with that, we'll be able to actually put our space station down. Take another hit of O2. Our health is good. Uh, let's make another piece of steak and we'll. Top that off. And we'll be good to go. Okay, let's do this. I'm assuming. Well, it did say it did say warp capability, so I wonder if we should take the capital vessel up in case it wants us to go somewhere. Because Cauldron, where I'm at, is pretty much on the ass end of nowhere on our on our uh, solar map. Actually, Thermal is the one that's all the way at the end, but I uh, I can't get anywhere other than Thermal on a small vessel warp. So let's see, what are we doing here? We'll turn the power on so we're so I don't think I can long land this with the wings. Unless, well, what if we did this? It's going to stick out the front end, but... It looks kind of cheesy, though, doesn't it? Alright, let's go ahead and flip it around like we had it before. Bit off to the side so we have room to get the mining vessel up there. We'll 
we'll take the whole kit and caboodle. These damn ramps on the J-Jet though interfere with me docking the ship unless I take it over here, which we can do. Not a problem. Whoa! What in the hell? That was weird. That was weird. It is a little bit off over there, but you know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, let's do this. Off into space. I wonder, uh, as soon as we get to space, I'm assuming it'll activate the next leg of this quest. Yep, there we go. I'm tracking a weep warp echo. Could be a small vessel. The echo suggests the warp drive could be intact. Head for ship symbol on the radar. see a ship symbol on the radar. What am I missing here? Ship symbol on the radar. The only thing I see on the radar is my own ship. Oh, minefield. Find small vessel. Oh, okay. I haven't really flown around um, the orbit of Cauldron much, so I don't. I haven't found the minefield yet. So, can we visibly spot that? What the hell is that thing up there? Oh, that's another planet. There's something over that way, though. Let me make sure my turrets are on, which they are, and let's make sure they are set to NPC factions. Okay. Well, there's definitely something over here. Let's go take a look at it and see what it is. Trading station. Oh, that's Polaris' station. Okay. Cool. Nifty. We don't need. I don't think we need to go on there now. But uh, it's good to know that that's there. I don't know if it's going to stay. on the map for us or not. Polaris Trading Station, waypoint. We'll just make a waypoint for it so that way it's there. Okay, so we have to find... We have to find this um, asteroid field, or minefield, rather. I've definitely found them before, I just haven't found them for cauldron. So I guess we just fly around a bit. Um, maybe we'll luck out and find um, some asteroids with some minerals too. Copper asteroid would be nice because that's what I have the least of at the moment. And we'll just kind of look with our eyeballs too, see if we see anything that looks like a minefield. It might have to be within a certain range of us though. Render in, I don't remember.
Okay, there's a roid. Oh, there's the timer. It's like right next to us. Are we underneath it or? Is that it right there? Yeah, that must be it. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back down to the planet and make some mining lasers. We need we need some anyway. Copper asteroid. Waypoint. So we'll get that marked. Okay, guys. Well, uh, we're out of time. So I think what I'm probably just going to do is fly around until I find the minefield. And when I do find it, then I'll start the next episode. All right. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord. Come and hang out with me on live stream. I live stream on Twitch several times a week. You can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. I want to remind you that I am out the last two weeks in January on a business trip. While I'm away, I won't be making any new videos, but I am pre-recording these. And I will continue uh, bringing the content to you while I'm gone. Um, won't have enough videos to release one a day, but we'll stagger them out so it keeps coming. All right? Guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.